I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a question from my student Gurmeen, who wants to understand solution of this trigonometric identity. The question here is, prove secant to the power of 6x minus tan to the power of 6x is equal to 1 plus 3 tan squared x secant squared x. Well, this is indeed a very difficult question. I'll try to explain and answer this to the best of my knowledge, and I hope it helps many students. So we'll begin with the left side, where we have secant to the power of 6x minus tan to the power of 6x, right? So the left side for us is secant 6x minus tan to the power of 6x. Now, we know difference of cubes, so it's better to write this as secant squared x whole cube minus tan squared x whole cube. This is difference of cubes. I hope you remember the formula for difference of cubes. That is, if I have a cube minus b cube, I could write this as a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. So we can actually factor this, right? So I'll rewrite this as a is a is secant square x and b is tan square x, correct? So we'll write this as secant square x minus tan square x as the first factor and the second factor is square of this will be power of 4. Product of these two with a positive sign. And then power of 4 for tan. So we get this expression. Now here, what is secant square x minus tan square x? That is equal to 1. You know why? Well, 1 plus tan square x equals to secant square x. That's the Pythagorean identity. If you take tan to the other side, the square you mean, then we get secant square x minus tan square x. Correct? So this is indeed equal to 1, so it is 1. So what we get here is 1 time all this, which is secant to the power of 4x plus secant square x tan square x plus tan to the power of 4x. Perfect. Now 1 times anything is that expression itself. And now at this stage, what I'll do, I'll rewrite all these terms in sine and cosine. So secant to the power of 4 could be written as 1 over cos 4x. And then we have 1 over cos square x. This is sine square x over cos square x plus to the power of 4 sine and cosine. Right. What you notice is that the common denominator is cos to the power of 4. So we can write this as cos to the power of 4x as a common denominator. Numerator is 1 plus sine square x. And then we have plus sine to the power of 4x. Now this sine to the power of 4x could be written as 1 minus cos square x whole square, right? Since sine square x is 1 minus cos square x and its square will give me sine to the power of 4x. Does make sense to you? So what we really did was, at this stage, we wrote sine to the power of 4x, I mean, as sine square x whole square. Do you see that? And sine square x is 1 minus cos square x. Correct? Okay. So let's begin. Continue. So we can now open this up. So we get 1 plus sine square x. And here we'll open as 1 minus 2 times cos square x times cos to the power of 4x. Cos to the power of 4x. Correct? Divided by cos to the power of 4x. You see that we get term cos to the power of 4x divided by cos to the power of 4x. That gives us 1. Okay. So we'll rewrite. So add 
cos to the power of 4x first and all this 1 plus 1 is 2 so we have add these two and then we have sine square x plus sine square x and then we have minus 2 times cos square x well let's write this as 1 minus sine square x okay divided by cos to the power of 4x correct well many times we have changed this right from sine to cos cos to sine the idea is to simplify now if you see we could write cos to the power of 4x cos to the power of 4x okay let's keep it as such and then here we have let's open this bracket plus 2 plus I could have simplified but I'm just opening this bracket minus 2 minus minus becomes plus 2 sine square x okay and then this is to the power of we can divide this by cos to the power of 4x we can divide this by cos to the power of 4 it's a common denominator right so this term here is just 1 and now what do we get 2 minus 2 is 0 so we get sine squared x plus 2 sine squared x so we get 3 sine squared x divided by cos to the power of 4x does it make sense to you so as you can see we got at least one term right from the right side less we also got 3 so the numbers are there we have to get tan square x secant square x that's not difficult so we'll rewrite this as 1 plus 3 sine square x over this is cos to the power of 4x which could be written as 1 over cos square x times cos square x correct cos to the power of 4x and we get the right side which is 1 plus 3 sine over cos is tan their square tan square x 1 over cos square x is secant square x do you get it so that is what is our right side so we have shown that the left side is equal to right side and that is how we could prove it I like you to go through these steps once again there are a lot of complications here many times we have used this Pythagorean theorem rearrange the terms to get what we wanted I hope that helps feel free to share your comments and views if you like and subscribe that'd be great thanks for watching